Hi, this is Brother Bryce, and I'm going to show you a little bit how to modify the game show. Now, uh, we've put in the functionality to be able to remove some of the questions. Currently, right now, we have 20 available questions inside of game show, and we are we are definitely aware that some people might not have 20 questions. So I gave it a good um, gave it a good way to be able to remove those questions and and slim it down if needed. Select the ones that you want to remove. Now this is only selecting and, and deleting the buttons. Now we want to go ahead and select the game board pieces themselves. So let's go ahead and select that and uh, so we know we're removing row 4 and also column E. So if we see here all the E's I want gone. All these E's I want gone. So let's just go ahead and delete those and all of row four. So anything that has four after, in, uh, in its name. All right? Okay, and then four, four, four. Let's delete those. Let's make sure I'm getting anything else. Four, delete, and then category E I'm deleting up here as well. All right? So now I got rid of the options to, to get all of row 4 and all of column E. Uh, those are in, inaccessible for the, the user. Now, uh, the way to, to kind of make this so it's uh, not so off-centered, see how it doesn't look that great right at this point, um, is by selecting the two groups here and then going down to a line and a center uh, horizontal, center horizontally on page. And there we go. Okay, so that did that. And then um, I'll actually want to move this down a little bit too. So I'll go ahead and select it again. Press shift and uh, hit the down arrow a couple times until I got it to the spot I, I, I wanted at. So that's, that's centered enough for me. I like that, that view right there. So now that I got removed those, I also, uh, to just kind of clean it up, I also want to remove all the E's, column E's. So go ahead and delete all those. So we don't need those anymore. All of the fours. And this is really just clean up. It's not necessary to delete these groups, but just to make it um, cleaner. Currently, right now, we still need to um, answer 20 questions in order to end the game. So, um, so to change that, we change this if statement. So basically, where we find that is to go to Game Show page, and then the Action Group Continue button, and then there's this uh, action called Change If Number of Used Questions. And so, um, so now I change the if statement to 20. And let's make this, so this has, uh, what, uh, 12, 12 questions in here. I want to only have the user or the student only answer, let's say, eight of them. Let, well, let's say six of them. Okay, so all you need to do is answer, all the, all the user needs to do is answer six of them. But I'll go ahead and change and give um, 12 questions that they can choose from. Okay? So I press OK. Let's view this. And I could very well have put 12 on there as well. So they would have to answer all 12 of them. But for this instance, I'm get showing you two different ways of, of being able to reduce the amount of questions. One, to reduce them by, um, by the amount that they can they can choose from and then also the amount that um, that they need to uh, need to answer before they can uh, finish the test so that's three and let's make a wrong answer here and another wrong answer and then let's do the correct one so then it gives me the game results but that's pretty much it. That's how you change the amount of questions possible and the amount of questions the user has to answer before moving on.